up y'all welcome back to my channel in this video i will be showing you all how i design tattoos step by step and procreate um i've been off youtube for maybe two or three months now because i've been working on some other things such as my website so if you all need any brush sets um make sure you go to inkbydamo.com and i will link it in the description of this video so yeah let's get started okay so when i start the first thing I do is go to my brush library and I will get a body part that I want to do a design on. So for now I'm doing a forearm, <clears throat> a forearm piece. And so from here you want to go up to your layers tab, add a layer. And then from here you just go through your brush sets and basically add brushes that you want to make a design out of. So for this specific piece, um, I'm going to go to my untitled set. And this set is just when um, I'm creating brushes on the go and I'm not necessarily designing a whole brush set. So for a specific design, I'll need maybe one or two brushes that I don't already have. So I have to go in and make them. And then I'll just put them in an untitled set until I have a complete brush set out of them, if that makes sense. So for this one, I'm going to start off with this brain, half a brain. I'm going to size it. And so for Procreate, when you're inputting a brush, down here is how you can manipulate your brush. So you can freeform it. You can distort it. You can warp it. You can rotate it. Um, so you have a ton of different options. So I'm just going to put that in right there. And then I want to add some butterflies coming out of it. So what I'm gonna do is basically create a new layer for each butterfly I add in, just so whenever I need to go back and manipulate it, I can manipulate each individual brush and not that whole layer, if that makes sense. Okay, so I think I have enough butterflies. What I'm gonna do now is add in some fillers in between the butterflies just so it's not so much empty space. So something like that, just to kind of break up the empty space. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna add another layer. I'm gonna go to a different brush set. Uh, we're gonna go into Godly, get some stairs. I'm gonna manipulate this a little bit, make it a little narrow. Then I'm gonna resize it, bring that in here. I'm gonna erase the part of the brush that goes outside of the line, which Normally that part would wrap around the wrist, but for design purposes and what I'm showing you all, I just erase it so it looks neater. So I'm going to go in and, and put a silhouette of a woman. Walking and this was a custom request for a woman. Or a female, I should say. She was younger. All right, I'm going to add a few more fillers. Let's kind of break up some more of this space. Just over here. And then, okay, so I've been kind of going fast. Sorry, guys. When you, so rewinding back, those two background fillers, which is these two layers, you can merge two layers by just pinching them together. 
So that kind of saves time. If you want to manipulate each layer the same way, you don't want to have to click each layer individually. Just pinch them together and then you can manipulate, manipulate them together. So for this layer, I pinched them together because I wanted to bring both of their opacity levels down to the same number. So that's about right. Okay, moving forward now, I want to add some text. So I'm going to come over here to the wrench bar, the toolbar. I'm going to add text and then I'm going to type whatever it is that I want to include in the design. So for this one, it's going to say, This is the quote that the customer wanted. So over here, what I'm doing is just basically bringing the um, lines closer together so it isn't so much white space in between each sentence or line, if that makes sense. So I'm going to put that quote there and then I'm going to add Um so for the 222 technically that you would go in and add text so this one I had already pre-made, so I grabbed it from my untitled brush set instead of going in and making it right this second under the text tab. Whenever I want to include some um, shading behind a text, I usually just go to insert a photo, albums, favorites, and I kind of have this like background shading filler pre-made thing that I use for the most part. So I'll go in, put it in. Um, I'll reshape it first, just so it's not too much. I'll erase the outside and then Gaussian Blur. This kind of gives it more of like a shading look. And then you want to go in and erase. Okay, so from there... I want to go back to this layer that has the shading in it and I want to go to the opacity and bring it down some because I don't want it the shading too dark. So that's about perfect. Um, I'm going to add one more filler. <laughs> Essentially, that is how I create a tattoo design step by step in Procreate. So for all of these brushes in this design, I do sell at, in my website. So if you want to go check those out, inkbydamo.com. Like I said earlier, I will link it in the um, video description. I hope this video helped you all. If you have any questions, just comment below. Let me know what other videos y'all want to see.